when I do videos. Hey guys, Ken here at 51. Power code link. Segmental dragon. Sea arch of her flame bluff roll and lady debug. Uh, the starter of this deck right here kind of get things going. They're all cybers. This is what mainly what the uh, main Yu-Gi-Oh decks all about cybers. Um, most of them, it's you can normal summon them. Some of them will give you the effect to uh, add cards back to hand or search or uh, special cards from the deck. So just cards to just bring out your monsters faster and, and then go ahead and link summon into your, uh, your, your 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 boss monster kind of Tron. Garbage Collector, Ant Italian, and Storm Cipher allows you to uh, generate combos and make a board for either attack or defense. Service Gadget. In most structure decks, uh, we usually want to try to go look for uh, cards that have been reprinted. That way, it's easier access to uh, getting the cards we want instead of you know spending like a million bucks for just that one pretty one. Re Reborn Tengu. The two, it came with two in this deck, but what this does specifically is says if this card leaves the field, you can special the second one from uh, from the deck. And uh, it summons a lot of its monsters out from either deck or from the hand through its card effects, and it allows you to go into your um, your extra deck monsters a lot faster. So this, I mean, this is overall, um, it's, a, it's a really easy, understandable structure deck once you start uh, getting to it. Very, very, again, like I said, it's very good for um, uh, players that are new to Yu-Gi-Oh! And, um, you know, just, and just want to play casually. Skullmeister, it came out as a super in the uh, promo special edition, but to see that this got reprinted, um, it's actually, um, um, it's, it's very good. Yeah, hopefully, I think, I mean, maybe this could be an indication we'll probably see this uh, more in play later in the format, but it, uh, what it is essentially is that it's kind of a DD Crow. If you, for those that don't know what a DD Crow is, is that cards that will go into the graveyard, you can uh, quick effect, respond, and um, remove from play the uh, card from uh, the graveyard, uh, meaning that if that happens, it uh, will negate. Um, it will, it will either disrupt or negate uh, certain of card effects in graveyard, basically breaking combos, making them uh, harder than for them to try to uh, game you. Got one Goblin Bird. Um, Goblin Bird, I can see why it got reprinted. It's a very good card. It's still like probably one of the best level 4 monsters that allows you to uh, do an extra, extra uh, summon. To uh, to go into like another level four and then to overlay into like a Utopia Lightning, etc. One of the just very one of the good level four monsters. Phantom Sky Blaster. A lot of people, uh, especially myself, was, was very surprised that this got reprinted in the next structure deck. Honestly, I'm also uh, glad that this got reprinted because the. Um, it's not a very easy card to get uh, right now because the only way to get the common would be the OTS pack, and then the uh, and then if, if you want to get the pretty ones, they're like at least 20 bucks a piece from from what I still remember. So, and this is definitely one of the best co uh, card combo starters right now in the game. So, for this to be in a structure deck, definitely a big uh, big save money in your wallet. You know, Gen X Ally Birdman. Um, um, this card personally really get. Uh, really shafted me in one of the tournaments if you've uh, seen the uh, deck profiles of uh, uh, Sekka Burning Abyss from, uh, by AJ, yeah. He used this to bring the Black Luster Soldier Envoy back to hand to resummon again and then attack me for like 6k plus damage, which is just bravo, bravo. So definitely, definitely pick up one of these. Effect Veiler, the fact that it got reprinted into another structure, um, it's one of the best hand traps of the format right now. Um, Valor, um, for those that are new to the game and don't know what this card does, is if you have this card in your hand during your opponent's main phase, you can um, target a monster on the field and negate his effects for the turn by discarding it to the graveyard. So, let's see, Magical Merchant, Cosmic Compass on, on the flip. 
So that means if you have it like this, and then if it's like, uh, if someone chooses to uh, declare an attack, it will get flipped. Or if someone just chooses not to attack in the next turn, you're able to flip it yourself. It allows you to excavate cards from the top of your deck until you activate a spell or trap and add that card to your hand and also send the remaining card to the graveyard. Okay, so this card effect is basically one of the symbol one. It's kind of like a Karibo Bandit going on. It's basically kind of like the, um, allows you to mill cards and then add a spell or trap card back to hand. So this is a good, 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 this, this helps you play. This allows you to special token. So, and then most of the extra deck monsters in here just requires only monsters. So the summoning conditions on, in this deck isn't really uh, too hard. It's really easy to get into. So it's yeah, good, very good. And then because all because this deck is a Cyrus deck, um, this effect allows all Cyrus monsters to gain additional attack and defense. So it's one of those it's one of those grind games where you have like uh, almost no monsters left, or your opponent has no monsters left, and you're able to summon this monster out with another Cyrus monster and basically boost and try to just push for win. So we're getting into the spells now. Cynet Storm, Night Beam, Offering of the Doom. Um, this card I believe is busted. I, this card is kind of busted. You've seen card appearances in this in a couple uh, top events and regionals and YCSs. Um, Cyanet Storm, it's a field card. All Link Monsters gain uh, 500 attack defense. And then Link Monsters of Link Monsters cannot be negated. So, and once per chain, if you take 2,000 or more battle effect damage, you can shuffle the face down cards in your extra deck, excavate the top card, and if it's a Cyrus Monster special, it otherwise return it to the extra deck. This just helps you win the game more. This is, um, this is Techie, it's one of those, so what this card allows you to do is, once you activate this, you target a card um, from the Spell of Trap field, and, um, and you basically uh, Mystical Space Typhoon it, destroy it. But what's special about this card effect is that the card you target won't be able to chain in response to the activation of this card. So the fact that this also got reprinted, this is one of the good reprints in this deck. So look, be on the lookout for this uh, card. Offering to the Doom, target one face of monster on the field, destroy that target, also skip your next draw phase. So it's a, it, in, I'm guessing in the old format, this used to be a very great card. Um, uh, it's still a very great card, but for, for, um, for advanced format games, I wouldn't, this probably wouldn't be the best card to go to, but definitely for, again, for you casual players and new players, um, it's a very good card to use and, and uh, help generate board and um, just, try to, just try to board wipe your uh, opponent's board. Forbidden Chalice, Scapegoat, Swords of Revealing Light. Um, Scapegoat, still by far the best spell card um, in the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game right now. It's the only card that allows you to generate four monsters in a single turn. Um, and it allows you to get into your uh, extra deck monsters a lot faster. Forbidden Chalice, uh, another tech card that got reprinted. It's kind of funny that this got reprinted because it's just one of those go-to cards to get reprinted, but it's also very techy. What it does is you target one face a monster. Um, the monster it's, uh, that it'll target, it will gain attack, but what it is is the effects will be negated. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, you know, what you're, you're basically, you, you, you rather choose having their monster, you rather have their monster be stronger than then letting their monster, you know, have uh, their effects go off. Because right now in the Yu-Gi-Oh game, it's not really matter about um, uh, whoever, who inflicts damage fastest. It's like whoever can uh, work around each other's board right now. And then you got Swords of Revealing Light, uh, one of the nostalgic cards of Yu-Gi-Oh. It, uh, for three turns, your opponent's monsters will not be able to declare an attack or attack at all, I believe. And, um... Yeah, not much needs to be said about Swords really Revealing Light, except that it used to be one of my favorite iconic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! monster cards that, you know, Yu-Gi used. Reasoning, Fire of Doomsday, one for one. Um, reasoning, your opponent declares a monster level from one to 12, and then you have to excavate cards until you 
having a monster until you excavate a monster and if that monster isn't the declared level it will be able to special itself from the uh, from 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 the from the card effect of reasoning um, then yeah so what this card does for this deck is that it essentially helps you um, so it mills cards in the graveyard for the fact that you will be able to special summon monsters because the only way because we only get one normal summon and then there's only so many cards that will be able to let you special summon so this is definitely one of those cards very good in certain decks too so it's the fact definitely pick up this structure deck guys it's like it's a really great reprint you cannot go wrong with this um, just because the fact that there's probably like about five to ten reprints um, this is one of them this is one of them one for one uh, one for one there's a reason why this is at one it's so busted um, it's definitely one of those cards I think you have to instantly stop you know and then if they can go on after that then well, I'm, I'm sorry but you know <laughs> you tried your best but what, what this does is that once you activate it you send a monster to the graveyard and then it'll be able to special summon a level one monster and right now uh, some level one monsters are uh, really good for the fact that it allows you to go into uh, Link Karibo and then some effects like uh, spiral, spiral Quick Fix, you know, when we all know how broken Spiral Quick Fix is, but you know, when you summon Spiral Quick Fix, it allows this effect to be able to uh, add a card, and adding in Yu-Gi-Oh! is it's just a very big plus. And this summons tokens, um, they're dark type, but you won't be able to summon any monsters the turn you activate this card. So this card is an okay card, you just gotta be smart how you play this card, because you have to keep in mind that you will not be able to summon um, you won't be able to summon other monsters after you've activated this card so just make sure you summon everything out first and then activate this terraforming super busted searching out field card um, the fact that it's in a structure deck it also means that it's easy access to get into super cheap definitely save uh, money in your wallet guys trap cards we got packet link wild tornado Trap Tricks, Whole Nightmare. When a monster that was special summoned to this turn activates effect on your opponent's field, negate its effect, and if you do, destroy that card. Special summon monster activates effect, you can negate its effect and destroy the card. So, it's, god, I can't even, yeah. Packet Link allows you to uh, special any monster, level two or lower, in different name from your hand, deck or graveyard to a zone, Link Monster points to. So, just more and more bring out monsters, kind of like a Call Haunted, but from deck or hand or grave, so I think, this is actually pretty okay. Target one face-up card in the spell trap zone. Destroy that face-up card. Then its controller can set one of spell trap cards from their hand. If that set card was, is destroyed and sent to graveyard, target one face-up card and field destroy that card. You just gotta be able to back up uh, this card with uh, with more responses because you don't want to give that guy that free plus. It's sort of sense. It's essentially kind of like a red reboot. Just doesn't waste half your life points activating it. Um, but for the budget players, definitely a, just just an all around all good card to use. Blazing Mirror Force, uh, one of the best cards to, that got reprinted, I think. Uh, when your opponent declares an attack, um, the damage gets burned back to them. And um, do they get destroyed? And then they destroy as many attack position monsters the uh, opponents control. And then they take damage equal to the half of the client original attack. Yeah. Um, with all the storing mirror force, or with all the mirror forces cards that got reprinted uh, during the year, it's finally time I believe Blazing Mirror Force got its recognition. I just wish it got prettier. We got Debunk, Reckless Greed, Call of Haunted. Reckless Greed, um, it's a good trap card. You draw two, but then you will be then you'll have to draw skip your next two draw phases. But this is a good budget card because it's draw power. But in some trap card stack, this is a very great card. It just all depends on the on how you use this card. Call of the Haunted, a uh, nostalgic card, brings back memories. Uh, when you activate it, you can bring back a monster from uh, the graveyard back to the field. And then we got Debunk. Um, uh, when the monster effect activates in hand um, or grave or graveyard, you can negate it. And then negate the activation, and then you, you you banish it. You remove it from play. So this is a very good card um, overall. Definitely help you uh, break boards and win games. Safe zone, trap stun. Um, 
negate all other trap cards effects on the field this turn. So that's really amazing how this card got is in the structure deck. I feel like um, outside the structure deck, I think this is actually a pretty good card. Um, um, I think the because right now this format, despite special summoning, co-linking, making your uh, you know extra deck monsters, um, it's also a trap card heavy format right now. So this is definitely helps stopping the trap card decks such as like Alter Geese, their uh, Paleo. Yeah, this is a trap card. It's continuous. When you activate it, you're essentially protecting a monster from being destroyed by a battle or card effects so it's a it's a very good uh it's a it's a good defense card to back up your monster so that way you're you're able to at least have a monster not die and still be able to play and then now we have our extra deck monsters we, the the main monster of the deck the powered co talker it requires three monsters to make into him and then his effect is um you can target one face up monster and then you can negate his card effects until the end of the turn. And then it's got a second effect where once per turn you can um, target the monster and um, contribute one monster this point card points you and the attack becomes double the original attack. So this is definitely, despite the structure deck, this is definitely one of those cards you want to pick up later in the, uh, later in the format. Personally, been waiting for this because this is the uh, new proxy dragon. Um, but proxy dragon pointed these this way, where now this one will point this way, allowing easier access to uh, special summon monsters from the extra deck into your main monster zones instead of the extra monster zone link. Where and then the uh, summon require limit for it is requires two monsters, so it's not super hard to really make this monster. You just need any two monsters in your deck, and then it'll just summon him out. Traffic Ghost, uh, it points three way. I feel like this is like the Sephra Metatron of it. It's just easier to get into because it just only requires three monster. But this is, um, I feel like these two Ling monsters, we'll, be, we'll definitely be seeing a lot of them uh, for advanced formats or even just for beginner players levels. So definitely do check out um, Area 51. Oh, and um, Hey guys, Ken here at Area 51. Um, today, I'm gonna show you that we got our up, new upcoming products, and um, I just suck at making videos, so I'm gonna start over again. <laughs> when I do videos. <laughs> oh god, alright. Oh, I'm gonna go get a Fuck! It's fucking hard! Yeah, I know. Right? Look at this. Uh, use. Er, oh, let's restart that. Let's restart that real quick. Yeah. Okay. When I do videos.